Toxic air outrage tonight at 11. Another packed house of angry people wanting to know why no one is dealing with a dangerous plant. CBS 46's Jamie Kennedy is in Covington where people are less than happy with the answers they're getting. Good evening, Jamie. Adam, things just wrapped up a short time ago. The meeting held so people living in Newton County and the surrounding areas could hear from the EPA and the EPD specifically about the toxic ethylene oxide in the air. All things said and done now, the public leaving the meeting still with trust issues. I think we'll be politely hostile. And like that, the scene was set for another EPA and EPD meeting. This is a dog and pony show. The community living around the BD plant feeling transparency has been handled poorly by the EPA and EPD regarding the release of deadly ethylene oxide into the community. Last night the feeling in Cobb County was the same and people left not feeling any better. The EPA and EPD trying again to be more transparent in how they test for ETO in the air, if the gas in the air is currently dangerous and how the chemical affects people. With all that said, they apologised for the mishandlings. Feelings after hadn't changed. I understood the information that they provided, but it really still angers me. Um, I feel like a lot of trust has been taken from the people. Sentiments around needing a healthy community unwavering. We don't want less poisoning of our people. We want no poisoning of our people. BD released a statement a short time ago after their meeting with Governor Brian Kemp today saying that they will commit a further $8 million to reducing ethylene oxide emissions. Live in Covington, Jamie Kennedy, CBS.